Dear Tears community, welcome to our crypto news and market update video and today there are new news around the banking crisis and overtaking by banks in the United States. JP Morgan acquired the troubleshooting First Republic Bank and quite interesting that we can see here a next chapter on and in the banking crisis in the United States. We've seen multiple banks to failing. The First Republic Bank is the next one and JP Morgan is now taking them over. They will assume all assets including unsured deposits and the First Republic Bank currently has 229.1 billion in assets and 103.9 billion in a deposit. They will take over all 84 locations and stuff like this. Interesting is that apart from the transfer of assets, the loss sharing agreement was also agreed upon between the FDIC and JP Morgan for residential and commercial loans acquired by the First Republic Bank. This means that the government, the United States government is saying, okay, you're taking over the losses, 50-50, and we are taking 50% of the losses. So the JP Morgan is, so to speak, doing a good job here because they can't lose that much. It's quite interesting that the United States government is doing everything at all costs to save the banking sector and especially to secure people's money. Because what we can see between these lines and with these next banks collapsing you can literally see that there would be a huge domino effect if they would not interact with the other banks to then make some good deals for them to acquire the struggling banks. And this is maybe not the last bank that we are seeing to fail. And Cameron Winklefoss blamed the regulatory double standards in this banking crisis because he said if the First Republic Bank would have been a crypto bank it would have been assassinated weeks ago. He posted it on Twitter and he said, you can literally see the initial and structural challenges with the balances since the Silicon Valley and the Silvergate Bank are down. And this is more than one month ago. So here he said, you can literally, even a blindfolded man could have seen what's happening. So here he's saying, it's not fair. They are double standard and that digital asset companies are not treated like traditional companies and that this is the next step in the fight against the FTC and is showing that there are a huge need of regulations and for being more transparent in the United States. And here as well, there's a series of recent letters that are showing and underlining this problem. Interesting to see what will happen anyway a new chapter in the American banking crisis has just been opened. And Coinbase is now as well fighting against the SEC. Coinbase received a world's notice from the SEC and now they responded in person and on video. Quite interesting is that here we've seen two people from Coinbase were saying we are literally sitting up here on stage asking for regulation, asking for rules, asking for a framework that makes sense for our particular technology so what we can be registered and you are doing nothing. The SEC changed everything in their behavior since the FTX drama where they mostly having a big part in. So here it seems like that they're very angry and they're just shooting around in the whole industry and then they can see, okay, this is going to happen and this is not going to happen and stuff like this. So Coinbase is already regulated, they say. We have a New York state license. We believe that legislation or rulemaking is needed, but the SEC is not really interested in pushing the industry forward. So here they stated we are committed to working within the regulatory perimeter and is putting the ball inside the field of the SEC because this is definitely a huge step forward by Coinbase and what a lot of people are saying and how the response was a lot of people are saying to Coinbase hey you guys are right the SEC is doing a terrible job let's see what will happen in the near future but here you can see there are not only double standard in the United States but the SEC is as well not having a huge 
real direction or framework for the industry and is struggling a little bit at the moment. Is the Bitcoin sell-off next? Binance BTC balance shoots up 1.5 billion in one month. If the exchange reserves are going up, mostly the price is going down. You can see this here in the chart. BTC, the green one is the balance in BTC and the yellow line is the Bitcoin price. So mostly when balances are going down, the price is going up. Balances are going high, price is going down because you only send Bitcoin to an exchange if you want to trade or sell them. BTC seems to be ceiling at 30k. You can literally see there is no interest um, around 30k. So people as well are saying, okay, near 30k, the long short ratio is going down very much. So there's nothing really um, that people wants to force huge trading into and stuff like this. So 30k could be a roof, a resistance for the next upcoming days and weeks because this uptrend was as well just based on the news of the struggling banks, not fundamental wise. And this we can see in the seven day performance chart, literally no movement overall, nearly a little bit red when it comes to altcoins. And this is where we can see in the market cap, we are exactly at the same levels where we started one week ago. And when we're taking a look on Bitcoin, we can easily see we built a resistance at 27,200 and the market all came down to 27,600 again. So nearly to the levels we've seen before the market lifted up. So now what is quite interesting is that the market went up very fast. You can see this over here. The market literally just shot up around 10% within 20 hours. This was because of the news around this struggling bank. And then it was like always, banks are struggling, Bitcoin is that, the banks are struggling, buy Bitcoin. Then we just had built it a resistance that we touched multiple times around 30K. And then very fast, there was the news that this bank is not collab it's collapsing, but it will be bought by another bank. So as well, sell-off started directly. As well, here, a lot of long positions were open. So here, people wanted to squeeze the longs out and we went down to the level to where we started from. We then saw one movement again, but then how I said resistance building and then the downtrend down to 27,600 and now hanging around 28k. Tomorrow will be the Fed announcement for the new interest rate hikes. So this could be as well an indicator why the market is not going up or down at the moment. So it could be sideways until then. Afterwards, with a positive outcome and positive world markets, we easily can go back to 29k. If we've seen an unexpected negative market movement or Fed interest rate hike decision, we can easily go down to 27,200. And if this is not holding, we can easily go down to 25k based on the sell volume because this uptrend was only caused by the news not fundamental wise so we need fundamental new volume a new fundamental input why the market should go higher and then maybe we can fill this gap up to 29500 if not personally i think that there could be one or two more weeks of low volatility with a slightly negative outcome i hope you like this video if you do so i would love to comment like or share the video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto news and market update provided by t -Rox.